Hello video editors. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. As a creator, there's nothing more satisfying than editing successfully in Filmora. In this video, we'll discuss the 20 biggest video editing mistakes in Filmora that you should avoid. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced editor, these mistakes can occur, and sometimes, they can throw off your entire project. So, let's take a look at them, and how to avoid them. Mistake number one, not organizing your footage. Before starting the project in Filmora, it's essential to number your footage, so it's easier to sort through it later. Failure to do so will make it hard to find the footage you need, leading to extra work and wasted time. Mistake number two, not planning the video ahead of time. One of the most common mistakes in video editing is not planning the project ahead of time. Not having a clear idea of the story or the theme of the video can waste time and leave you stumped mid-project. It's crucial to have a script and a storyboard to follow. Mistake number three, not saving the project. It's always important to save the project often, after making any significant changes. There's nothing worse than losing hours of work because of not saving the changes along the way. Mistake number four, not paying attention to aspect ratio. Different devices have different aspect ratios, and not accounting for that can lead to stretched or compressed footage. Whether it's square, 16 to 9 or 4 to 3, always be aware of the aspect ratio of the final product. Mistake number 5, ignoring audio levels. Ignoring or leaving your audio levels uneven makes your video sound unprofessional. Adjust your audio levels using the volume levels or normalization feature in the audio tab. Mistake number 6, missing jump cuts. When you cut out an unwanted segment or clip, remember to check the cut transition between shots. Smooth out these cuts using Filmora's transition effects. Mistake number 7, overusing transitions. While transitions look great, it's easy to overuse them. Transitions can add a nice touch to your video, but using too many of them can make it look tacky. Avoid the temptation to use all the fancy transitions Filmora has to offer. Too many transitions can distract your viewers from your content. Mistake number 8, using low resolution footage. Always make sure you use high quality footage. Using low-resolution footage can drastically lower the overall quality of your video. Mistake number 9, not paying attention to color correction. The color of your footage and the final product can make or break the mood and feel of the video. All videos need color correction, even if the footage looks great in camera. Make sure to adjust the color and correct any discrepancies that may arise. Apply LUTs, color correction or filters to enhance your footage. Mistake number 10, going overboard with slow motion. Slow motion is indeed a useful tool, but too much of it can detract from the final product. Whether it's for effect or to extend the runtime, don't overuse slow motion. Make sure to use it only when it's crucial to the story. Mistake number 11, overlooking shortcuts. A big mistake that many beginners make is not learning the shortcuts in Filmora. These small tricks can help you speed up your editing process and overall create a smoother workflow. Mistake number 12, using too many effects. Overusing effects can interfere with the flow of the video. In some cases, it also makes the video look unprofessional. Using too many effects can make the final product feel tacky or rushed. Simple but powerful transitions, filters, and other effects can go a long way in making the video feel polished and professional. Mistake number 13, not sorting footage. Not organizing your footage before starting your video can result in frustration later one. Consider sorting your footage into labeled folders before starting your project.
Mistake number 14, inconsistent framing. Not maintaining a consistent framing can be distracting. Be mindful of keeping the lines straight and the subject centered. Mistake number 15, overlooking the importance of titles. Titles grab your viewer's attention and help to introduce your subject. Use your titles to add excitement and professional touch to your production. Mistake number 16, not having enough footage. Not having enough footage is a crucial mistake you can make. Always make sure to have more footage than you need, as it makes cutting and cropping the video easier. Mistake number 17, poor audio quality. One of the most common mistakes is to neglect the audio quality. Bad audio can ruin a good video, so make sure to use a high-quality microphone and adjust the levels accordingly. Mistake number 18, ignoring noise. One of the most common mistakes is ignoring noise in audio clips. Even a small amount of unwanted noise can ruin your entire video. Always check audio tracks for noise and use tools such as the noise reduction filter to remove it. One of the most common mistakes is ignoring noise in audio clips. Even a small amount. One of the most common mistakes is ignoring noise in audio clips. Mistake number 19, ignoring the sound. Failure to consider sound while editing can result in a subpar video. Sound effects, music, and voiceovers all play a big part in setting the tone and the mood. Make sure to use quality sound effects, background music, and please sync the sound with the footage. Mistake number 20, not deleting empty tracks. When working with multiple audio tracks or video tracks, it's common to have empty tracks lying around. These empty tracks can confuse you or other editors. So always delete empty tracks for a cleaner project. These are 20 of the biggest video editing mistakes in Filmora, but as you continue editing your projects and skills improve, you'll discover many more mistakes to avoid. With just a little attention to detail and patience, you can create an outstanding video that captures your audience's attention. Being aware of these mistakes and avoiding them can go a long way in making your video clean and professional looking. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tips. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.